Hello, I'm Father Hennigan, the pastor of Holy Cross and the chaplain of Covington Catholic High School. And every time I, I give a homily or I give a talk, I like to use a playboard because we've got to have our game plan. And our goal is to shoot for the goal of heaven. And our game plan today is we're going to focus on zeal. You know, the word zeal means eagerness, an ardent interest in pursuit of something. You know, to have fervor, to have to have zeal. And it's a virtue. And it must be in pursuit of the good or of that which is good. So we have to have zeal for that which is good. And so we look to Jesus and we look to the zeal Jesus had. We turn to the Gospel of John, the second chapter, in verses 13 to 22. So I'm going to read that here. This is John 2, 13 to 22. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of the cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of Scripture, Zeal for your house will consume me. At this the Jews answered and said to him, What sign can you show for us doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews answered, This temple has been under construction for forty-six years, and you will raise it up in three days. But he was speaking about the temple of his body. And so we see, see this zeal that Jesus had, zeal for your house will consume me. So Jesus had zeal for God. He had zeal for doing his Father's will. Jesus had a zeal for souls. And so it said he, he went into the temple, yeah, the, the physical temple, but also Jesus comes into our temple. And what he wants to do, he wants to drive out sin, that which is, shouldn't be in our temple. So we see that zeal for souls, that zeal for us. Jesus has a zeal for both you and I. Another example of zeal, I love to look into the scriptures and see is St. Paul. He had a zeal for persecuting Christians, which wasn't a good thing. But God got in the way. We see his conversion. Then he took that zeal that he had, but he, he put it towards the good in pursuit of goodness, in preaching the good news, this eagerness to preach the good news. Again, zeal for the good. You know, God used his passion. He used the fervor Paul had for preaching the good news, the gospel. We may have zeal for many things. Again, it must be for good things. You know, maybe we have the zeal to better ourselves in our academics, to better ourselves in sports or in play or in band. And these are good things. Again, zeal is a good thing for a good thing, for a good purpose. And the greatest of all is God. For you and I to have zeal for God. And how do we show our, this zeal that you and I have for God? How do we put God first? In our lives. Again, zeal is a virtue. It's a repeated action of pursuing the good. And again, God is the greatest of all goods. So how do we have this zeal in showing God this eagerness in pursuing Him, making God first? And so a good monthly resolution or something to reflect on or something to do is to show our zeal for the Lord is to stop by a church or to stop by a chapel, maybe at your school or somewhere nearby, and to pray, to say hi to Jesus who is in the tabernacle. Again, this shows our zeal for something that is good. God who is the greatest good of all. And so let the zeal for the Lord consume us that we put God first in our lives. Virtue equals strength.
And this is a beautiful repeated action of pursuing the good, of pursuing God, and putting God first in our lives. This is our goal. This is our game plan to shoot for the goal of heaven. Amen.